Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we are on South End Pier. Um, it used to be, it might even still be, the longest pleasure pier in the world and today we are going LRF fishing so we're looking for little mini beasts and uh, small species, micro species that uh, live around the pier. So they might be under the stanchions, right off the end of the deep water. Um, I, I've never done it before, I haven't spoken to anyone that's done it before. Um, I know years ago when we used to fish for bass, we used to net live baits and we used to catch little gobies in the nets and things. So I know they live up here. Um, the biggest problem might be the tide. So using small stuff in, in a strong tide is going to be difficult, but we'll find a way around it, I'm sure. Who knows? Um, I've just got here. I've just missed the train. It's half an hour wait to the next one. So I'm going to take the long walk. And it is a long walk if I spin us around. Up the end there, a mile and a third to be exact. Um, but I'm definitely getting the train back. So. Walk up there, see if we can find some water, see if we can find some fish. That is a little goby as description. I'm not good with the ID, but um, that is my first South End Pier LRF one, LRF fish. And I've had loads of bites, so I can't hook them, so I think it's these little guys. Um, I'm, do you know what? I'm so chuffed for that. Such a little fish, but I'm very chuffed. Uh, I'm going to get it back. All right, it's not a very dignified release, but there you go. Eee. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll tell you what, for such a very small fish, I'm very, very pleased. Um, mainly because I've had to chop and change tactics to, to actually hook them. I've had loads and loads of bites. Now, I'm actually having to fish overly heavy with my weight because of the tide run on the end of the pier here. So I'm fishing with like a 20 grand drop shot. Um, and I had a tiny size 16 hook in line like you would any other drop shot. I was getting bites but not hooking them. So I switched, I put a little um, swivel on where your hook would be and tied a very short pattern oster. And all of a sudden, bang, hooked a fish. So uh, I'll try and untangle it and give you a look. Okay, now I've got that untangled to show you what I'm using. So, like I said, I'm fishing a drop shot lid with a little tiny hold on, let's see if can, micro swivel just above it, like pattern off the style. And then a short leader to a size, it's a size 16, with a small piece. Of Isomi, Marikayu Isomi on the hook, and uh, yeah, it worked. I'm very pleased because uh, the, the, the idea of an RF fishing on the South End Pier has always been quite daunting because of the depth of the water and the tide runs here, uh, and the fact that you know the tide goes in and out so much, it's, it's whether fish are going to stick in there and be resident. Um, for bigger fish like you know that can handle the tide runs, it's easy to come in and out, but for those little micro species, it must be quite, quite a, a tough life. But anyway, that's one down. Let's see if we can get another one. And there he is, goby number two. Um, I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna move spots, I think, just because why I catch the same gobies over and over again. Um, I'm sort of nailed these now, I've got a fair couple. Uh, it'll look it's good fun. It'd be nice to get some different species, so we'll get this one back. Well, that's another one. Uh, so we're gonna put this one back, and I am actually gonna move now. I've got, I, I lied, I, I stayed here, my GoPro keeps overheating, so there's absolutely no GoPro footage of this. Uh, so we're gonna chuck this one back and keep moving. Got one, what have we got? Another go, babe. I'm pretty sure they're all the same species, but I could be wrong. I'm gutted, the GoPro keeps overheating, so I haven't got it on film, but just had what I believe is a blenny. Look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Absolutely slammed it as well. Oh god, I'm so chuffed. All right, I'm gonna put this blenny back. I think it's a tom pot, but I'll get confirmation later. And I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. Chuck it back. Woohoo! I genuinely am absolutely made up with that fish. Um, 
I still don't know exactly what it is. I'm crap with that sort of thing, those species, but I think it's a Tom Pop Blenny. Um, I'll, I'll get confirmation. By the time I've edited, I'll know and I'll correct myself if I need to. Um, if I am right, you have to comment in, in the video. Well done, Charlie. You're a species genius. Um, let's see if we can catch something else. I'm on a roll. Got it, got it, got it, got it that time. What is it? What is it, that little goby? There we go. Got this low goby game down. Start back up some numbers now. Okay, and that is the session done. Um, I topped up with eight, I think, gobies and that one blenny. Um, which I'm really pleased with. First time I've ever come and end up here. I'll take that. Uh, I'm in a bit of a rush now, trying to get back to the train station to catch the train back to shore. Otherwise, I'm walking. Well, I did end up missing the train, so I am walking back. So, uh, no one called me lazy today. I walked both ways. Um, but absolutely don't, do not mind at all because I caught some fish. I'm actually quite looking forward to doing this again. Um, I got away with fishing really well, much lighter than I thought I was going to, if I'm honest. Uh, I thought I was going to sort of get washed away a couple of hours into the tide. Uh, but if I didn't have somewhere to be, I probably could have stayed there right to right to high water, which is great. Um, so I think uh, I've uh, written this off for too long. I need to make the most of this. It's on my doorstep and do a bit more of it. I remember a few years back hearing from people who were catching small wrasse, um, juvenile black bream, juvenile gilt head bream, um, place, flounder, dab, bass, mackerel, garfish. So the species are there. Um, the difficulty has always been just battling the tide and obviously water conditions because it's a mile and a half or mile and a third out into the estuary. It's very, it's very often it's quite muddy. So I think I've just got to eye out the weather, pick the right tide to the right conditions and, and actually go and do it, not talk about it, just go and do it. Okay, well that rounds off today's LRF session up south end here. My feet are killing me. I've walked both ways. Uh, it's hot, I'm sweaty, I'm burnt, I'm probably absolutely red raw. I'm still happy, I caught some fish. Um, and that was the aim of today. Size didn't matter. Uh, more species would have been great, but on obviously two, I'm taking that as a win. And we can improve on there from the next time we come. Um, as you can see, huge, huge structure here. There's got to be something special living there. Like and comment guys if you like this sort of video, if you want to see more of them, I'll see you next time.